Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here again with another Mismatch Monday. And today it's going to be using the Stratomatic Baseball PC game. I am getting ready for uh, the uh, football, uh, the, the 2024 or 2023 football season and um you know cards and uh computer game and the uh 19 i believe it was 1977 football season cards to come and so i need to um have my table free and we are and it's been a while since i have done a stratomatic pc game so that's what it's going to be today for mismatch monday um and we are going to um, go to the uh, 19 the 1970 New York Yankees are going to take on the 1986 Mariners. The Mariners will be at home, and um, the uh, the Mariners in 1986 were 67 and 95. While the New York Yankees of 1970 were 93 and 69, the computer will control the Yankees, and I'll take Seattle and see if I can get Seattle a win here. And uh, we are going to get into it. Just we're just going to jump right in. And uh, so I didn't go over the lineups, but uh, you can see that the Yankees are up first, and their lineup is going to be Horace Clark at second base, leading off. Thurman Munson, the catcher, will bat second. Roy White will play left field and bat third. Bobby Mercer will play center field and bat in the cleanup spot. And then um, Danny Cater will play first base. Kurt Bleffery will be in right field. Gene Michael, the stick, will be at shortstop. Uh, John, uh, John, is it John Kenny, will be the third baseman. And John Ellis will be the... Uh, the uh, DH. I believe it's John Ellis. And that lineup will face Mike Moore for us. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Horace Clark batting against Mike Moore. And that is going to be a, uh, well, I guess that was all right. He puts the ball, looks like he puts the ball in play. Let's see what's going to happen here. And that wasn't out. So Clark is out. Thurman Munson is up with one down. And that will be a ball four. So Munson takes the walk from Mike Moore to give way to Roy White. Roy White, good defensive outfielder. And uh, that was a wild pitch. So that moves Munson over to second. And Roy White still at the plate. And Roy White. And no, he lined out to Reynolds. He did not get it through that uh, that right side of the infield. And so Bobby Mercer is up. Bobby Mercer sends it out to center field where John Moses will make the play. So Stan Bonson is pitching for the 70 Yankees today. And the lineup he's going to face is going to be um, John Moses, the center fielder. Man, it just made the play. Pete Bradley in left field, Elvin Davis at first, uh, uh, Jim Presley at third base, Ken Phelps will be the DH today, Danny Tartable in right field, Scott Bradley at catcher, Ray Quinones at shortstop, and Harold Reynolds at second. Actually, that is not a bad lineup. I don't know how this team was as bad as they were. Uh, John Moses leads off, and he is out. He lines out to Clark, and Pete Bradley is the batter. And Pete Bradley laces it between short and third for a base hit, and that brings up Elvin Davis with Bradley aboard and only one out. Bonson deals, and that is a strikeout, and Presley is up. Jim Presley. And Jim Presley is going to put the ball in play to center field. Looks like Mercer is going to be under it, though, and makes the play. And so we go to the top of the second inning, with the score still tied at zero. 
And Danny, Danny Cater, the first baseman today for the Yankees, batting against Moore. And he is going to be out. Oh, no, no, maybe not. Huh? No, he's not. Actually, he got a, got a reprieve there on, after the foul ball, and he laced it between short and third. So Kurt Bleffery is up with Cater aboard. Kurt Bleffery, mainly I was uh, um, under the impression he was uh, mainly a, uh, a backup guy, but we're going to throw for the lead runner, and it doesn't work. So now runners are at second and third with Gene Michael up. Now maybe the Mariners' problem in 86 was their pitching was so bad. Maybe even their pitching and defense was so bad that that was what the problem was. But a run does score for the Yankees here as they take a one nothing lead on a ground ball. And that'll bring up Jerry Kenny, not John Kenny. Uh, Jerry Kenny. With a man only 90 feet away and one out. And that's going to be a walk. So John Ellis is up. Of course, he's in the Texas hat in the uh, photograph because we are used to him being on the Texas Rangers. At least I was. And he puts this ball way deep. Might be a home run. No, it's caught. It's caught at the wall. But it is a sacrifice fly, and it gets the Yankees their second run as Horace Clark steps to the plate with Kenny aboard. And... Uh, more will deal, and that's going to be a ground ball out to Reynolds, and he makes the play. He is a good defensive second baseman. Ken Phelps is the batter. Ken Phelps had a lot of power, and as you can see, he got on base a lot. So he's going to face Stan Bonson, and let's see if that's a walk. Nope, it's an out. He's out, and then uh, that brings up Danny Tartable. Danny Tartable, of course, did end up playing for the Yankees for part of his career. He puts this ball out to left field. Is it going to be a base hit, though? No. It is an out, and Scott Bradley, the catcher, is at the plate. And Scott Bradley is going to hit the ball out to Mercer in center, and that will do it for the M's in the second inning. And now we're going to the top of the third where Mike Moore will face the second hitter in the Yankee lineup, and that being the catcher, Thurman Munson. Thurman Munson grounds the ball down to Presley, and that is one out. Roy White is the batter with one down and nobody on. And he hits the ball... Oh, no. Can He hit the ball Canyonis, but he just missed it. So, Bobby Mercer is the batter with White aboard and one out. And that is going to be a foul ball, and it's an out. So, Danny Cater is the batter with a man aboard. Two down now. White tried to get a lead, but he couldn't. And so, he deals to Cater. And that is going to be a pop-out to second base. And so we go to the bottom of the third inning. Seattle down 2 nothing. Stan Bonson dealing for the Yankees so far. Quinones is the batter. Don't have a photo of Quinones. I'll have to work on that. And he is going to hit the ball out to center field. Probably a fly ball out for Mercer. And it is. There's one down. And Harold Reynolds. Harold Reynolds, who is... I believe he is still on the uh, staff at the um, MLB Network. And uh, that's an out. And John Moses is the batter. And you can see him there in his Twins uniform because obviously he also did play for the Twins. He hits the ball out to right. And Bluffery can't make the play. He, so he gets the ball back to the infield. And Phil Bradley is the batter. One or two down and a man at first, and he hits the ball out to second, and that's going to be an out. So Mike Moore goes back out to the mound to work the uh, top of the fourth inning to the Yankees. He's down two nothing here. He has pitched fairly well here. He had a bad, you know, he had a rough, rough second inning, but this ball might be gone. Let's see if it is. 
it popped out of his glove, and so it's a double. And Gene Michael, the stick is up, and he gets on. He gets. Let's see, a one base error by Presley. So now Kenny is up with runners at the corners, and nobody out. So the Yankees look like. They're poised to score another run. He hits the ball right between second and first and into the outfield. I'm going to throw for the lead runner because we cannot be giving up runs if, if we can help it. It doesn't work. Runners are at second and third. And that is going to be a home run. Might be a home run for Ellis. And it is. It's a home run for Ellis. A three-run shot gives the Yankees a 6 nothing lead here in the fourth. And Mike Moore is not pitching well here. There's a ground ball to Reynolds for the first out of the inning. And Thurman Munson is now the batter. Here in the Kingdome. That's going to be a hit between short and third. Roy White is the batter with uh, Munson aboard and only one out. And that will be a strikeout. And Bobby Mercer is the batter. So the Yankees have a commanding 6 nothing lead here after four innings. And, of course, it is Mismatch Monday. And Danny Cater is the batter with runners at second and first and second. And he hits the ball up the middle for a base hit. I'm going to just stop the other runner. But, I mean, at this point, looks like maybe the, ho the horse is already out of the barn. Kurt Bluffery is up and Moore is tired. But I'm going to let him get through this inning. And uh, hopefully that can happen without him giving up any key hits. He There is a slow roller down to Davis. And uh, that is an out, and it is seven to 7-0. So the Yankees take a 7-0 lead into the bottom of the fourth inning, where Elvin Davis will be the first batter to face Bonson. And that is that. It's... Over his outstretched glove for a base hit. So Davis is aboard. Let's see if they can get anything going. Jim Presley is the batter. Jim Presley had a little bit of power, and he was a good third baseman in general. But that's an out. Ken Phelps is the batter. And you can see he is, has a serious on-base card. And that is going to be a uh, force play. So there's two down with Danny Tartable up. Here in the bottom of the fourth, the Mariners losing, the 1986 Mariners losing to the 1970 Yankees by the score of 7-0. And um, I'm going to send the lead runner, and I did. And so Scott Bradley is the batter. We're going to see if we can get some runs, scrape out some runs here. Uh, slowly over time and maybe start a comeback. So I am going to take more out of the game. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, let's see here. I am going to bring in not Pete Ladd. Let's see. What about Huisman? Yeah. Wow. You. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Mark Huisman is going to come on to face Gene Michael. And that is going to be a fly ball. And it's an out, so one down with Jerry Kenny, the batter. Yankees up 7 nothing here in the fifth. And that's going to be a fly ball out to center. The game got underway so well. The first inning was scoreless, but then Mike Moore allowed... I believe it was two two or three runs in the uh, second inning, and then he had another horrible inning, and things just fell apart. So Ray Quinones is up for the Mariners here in the bottom of the fifth. The Mariners have their work cut out for them. They have to crawl back from a 7 to nothing uh, deficit. That's going to be a pop-out for Quinones. And Harold Reynolds is the batter. And he is going to ground the ball out to Gene Michael. And it it's, tosses the first. Harold is too quick. He beat out the in, He's got an infield base hit. 
And John Moses is the batter, and he's going to strike out. And that brings up Phil Bradley. Phil Bradley with a man aboard, and that's Harold Reynolds who can run. So if he can get something in the gap, this might be over Munson's head. Let's see. Yeah, it is. I'm going to send the lead runner because we want to get a run for these guys. I'm going to hold the trailing runner. And Reynolds was out. They threw for Reynolds and they got him out, so we couldn't even score that run. Horace Clark will be the batter here against Hoisman, who's working in his second inning. And that's going to be a ground ball to second base. Uh, Thurman Munson is the batter. And that is going to be an out, and Roy White is the batter with two down and nobody aboard. So it mu that must have been the problem with the Mariners, the bigger problem was not their, it looks like their hitting was pretty good, but they probably had a shoddy defense and um, they and the pitching was probably less than stellar. And that'll be a fly ball by Mercer out to right field. And that is an easy out. So the Yankees don't score there. They maintain their 7 nothing lead here in the bottom of the sixth as the Mariners will try to scrap their way back here but that's a line out to Gene Michael so there's one down and Presley up with nobody aboard that's gonna be a strikeout and that brings up Ken Phelps good morning mister Phelps dude had some power and could get on base and it is a ball four so he does walk and Danny Tartable is the batter here And that's going to be a strike three. So the Mariners come away with nothing. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Danny Cater will bat against Hoisman. Hoisman, uh, he's doing uh, yeoman's work here, trying to uh, keep the Mar to keep the Yankees right where they are. And on a Bradley makes a diving catch for the first out of the seventh, the Yankees' seventh inning. Kurt Bluffery is the batter. He's two for three today with a double. He grounds the ball out to Reynolds, though, and he is out, and that brings up Gene Michael. And Gene Michael is going to hit the ball down to Davis, and that is an out. So uh, the Yankees, again, don't get anything, but they don't need any more if uh, Bonson keeps pitching like this against the, um, the Mariners lineup. Scott Bradley is the batter facing Bonson here in the bottom of the seventh and he is going to hit the ball into the gap this might be a double for Bradley yes it is and Coenones is the batter I'm gonna let him hit because I mean you know we we've got to have we got to hope that these guys can get a string enough hits together so that is an out, but it does move the runner over. So there's a runner 90 feet away with Harold Reynolds at the plate against Bonson. And Reynolds hits the ball down to Cater. Um, I am going to, I'm going to hold the runner. I'll hold the runner. It was only a 35% chance, and John Moses is the batter. We're going to have to hope that John Moses can put this ball in play for a base hit, but he can't. And so, again, the Mariners threaten, but they don't get any runs. And we go to the top of the eighth inning where Jerry Kenny will face Huizman. I don't even, Anybody knows how to pronounce that name? Spell it phonetically for me in the, uh, in the uh, um, comment section. John Ellis is the batter. He's one for two today with a homer. And was that a hit? Nope. It was a line out to Quinones and Horace Clark is the batter and he is going to be out. So um, Phil Bradley will be the batter here. The uh, Mariners down by seven. They got to come up with at least seven runs. Although Heisman has been holding the Yankees since he's come on. Elvin Davis is the batter with one down here in the eighth. 
and that will be an uh, and it's going to be a, what was that? That was going to be a walk, ball four. And Presley is the batter. And that will be, let's see. Men on first can try for third at a 50% chance. I'm going to hold the runners because we need base runners and runs. Ken Phelps is the batter, and he's a guy that can get on base and do that. So let's see if he does. He is going to hit the ball out to center field, but it looks like Mercer can play that one. And it's an out, and Danny Tartable is the batter with two down and two runners on. You'd like to see a three-run homer, and you know maybe the Mariners could give somebody some hope if they're a Mariners fan watching this. But that's going to be an out. And so we will... Um, Heisman, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bullpen. I think he's pitched enough. Uh, we will go to. I don't know. We're gonna go to Lee Guterman. We'll bring in Lee Guterman to pitch. And of course, he was another guy that did pitch for the Yankees as well. He'll deal to Munson, and that's going to be a base hit between short and third, so maybe we shouldn't have taken Heisman out. Next batter is Roy White with a man aboard, nobody out. And that's going to be a strikeout. So there's one down, and Mercer is the batter. And this will be lefty on lefty favors Guterman. That's going to be a ground ball down to Davis. And that is the second out. Mercer is now aboard and Danny, Danny Cater is the batter. He's 2-4 four, four today with an RBI and he hits the ball maybe over Moses' head for a double. Let's see. It is going to be, uh, let's see. We're going to throw for the lead runner. Did we get him? We did not. He scored, so it's 8 nothing, and Kurt Bluffery up with two down and a man at second. So that's another RBI for Cater. Cater having a day. And that might be a, a base hit for Bluffery. It is. And that's going to be a triple for Bluffery. Unbelievable. And uh, Gene Michaels up. So now the Yankees have opened up a 9 nothing lead. So this got ugly. This game really got ugly fast. It is mismatch Monday, though. I'm really kind of just getting stoked for the football cards and the football game to come out. But Scott Bradley is the batter uh, here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And he does lace a base hit. Bonson, it looks like they're going to try to get Bonson a complete game here, and why not? I mean, it's 9 nothing. Quinones is the batter. And Quinones is going to hit the ball out to Roy White, it looks like, for an out. And Harold Reynolds will be the batter. He's one for three today. And he hits the ball between first and second. Um, I'm not going to send the runners because, again, you need to get nine runs. And uh, let's see if they take Bonson out. They will. They're going to bring in Ron Klimkowski to pitch. And John Moses is the batter with runners at first and second. And only one down. And that might be a base hit. And it is. And the Mariners do get on the board. So if you were watching the game, if you were still watching right now and hoping that the Mariners could get a run, they just did. Pete, uh, Phil Bradley... Two for four on the day, but it looks like he's going to pop out here for the second out in the uh, bottom of the ninth. And so now it's all up to Elvin Davis to keep things going against Ron Klemkowski. And he strikes out, and so that will be your final score. We'll take a look at the box score. Uh, Bonson went eight and a third, allowed ten hits, and walked two, but only one run. And he struck out six. 
Mike, uh, yeah, Mike Moore went four innings. He allowed eight hits and walked three and allowed five earned runs, seven runs total. Heisman went four, and, I mean, he was great. He only allowed one hit and struck out two guys over four innings and no runs. And then Guterman allowed two runs in his one inning of pitching in the ninth. So the Yankees win this one 9-1. to one. And that is going to wrap it up for me for Mismatch Monday. Bob Zolke signing off.